it's Jen welcome back to my channel so today I thought I'd do something kind of fun um, I'm gonna redo all the Pottermore quizzes um, just because I want to see what's changed I don't know when Pottermore's came out but it's been at least 10 years probably maybe more I'm not sure so I just kind of wanted to take the tests and see you know what changed or if I get you know if it does change um, because I just thought it might be interesting to, to kind of check out. Um, but I do have a disclaimer. If I do get a house other than Hufflepuff, I'm still Hufflepuff. Like, that's the house that I identify with most. I was never one of the people that was like, I'm Gryffindor or, you know, nothing when I read the books. Like, I knew that I was a Hufflepuff, no matter what. So, um, you know, that's always, that's just my house. I have qualities of all of them, but I am primarily off above. And that will not change, even if I get another house. That won't change. So I just thought it'd be kind of fun to go through and compare, um, you know, my results from now and then, you know, from, from way back when. So that's what we're going to do today. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is, okay, first thing I'm going to do is my wand because, of course, that's the first thing that you do. So I'm going to go ahead and discover my wand. Okay. So, to ensure we find the perfect wand for you, it's very important that you answer the following questions honestly. First of all, would you describe yourself as average height, short, or tall. I'm going to say short because I'm short. My eyes are hazel, blue, blue gray, blue green. I think my eyes are green. Uh, was the day on which you were born an even number or an odd number? An odd number. Do you most pride yourself on your kindness? Optimism, determination, resilience, imagination, intelligence, originality. I'm going to go with kindness because I do. Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea, ahead towards the forest, or right towards the castle? I'm going to say that I'm going to go towards the forest. Do I most fear fire, darkness, isolation, small spaces, or heights? Um, I'm gonna go with, I don't know, probably isolation. I don't really like that. Um, in a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? An ornate mirror, a dusty bottle, a golden key, a silver dagger, a bound scroll, glittering jewel, or a black glove. I think I'd do the scroll because I'd want to see what's on it. Okay, so my wand is ashwood with a unicorn hair, core, 10 inch and quite bendy flexibility. And right here I have what I originally had and I got the exact same thing. Ashwood, unicorn hair, 10 inches, and quite bendy. And interestingly enough, when I went to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, you can go to all Vanders, and um, they choose from a group of you on, like, you know, who that gets the Ollivander experience that the wand chooses you. And they picked me, which was the most amazing, you know, moment of my life, of course. Um, and I got this wand which was crazy like I got this one it's not this one it's in it's in its Ollivander's box but um I got the same wand which was really cool okay so next I'm gonna do um I'm gonna go ahead and do my Ibramorny house and see what I get this time um what's your preference plot or explore I'm gonna say explore I wish I knew how to, this one I said get through, I believe. 
I would most like to discover a powerful magical creature loyal only to me, an all magical city hidden from the nomad world, a spell more powerful. Um, I'm gonna say no. Let's, I'm gonna say an all magical city hidden from the nomad world. Um, which would you choose if you could only have one? The power to change one day in your future, the power to change one day in your past, the power to make one person impervious to harm, the power to bring one person back from the dead, the power to cure one illness worldwide, and the power to eradicate one quality from all humans. Wow. I'm gonna say... Oh, those are hard. I would either go with the eradicate one quality from all humans or cure one illness because both of those are, the others are kind of like just for you, but I think I'd rather do something for humanity. Um, so cure one illness or one quality. Maybe I can eradicate hate or prejudice or some, I would, I'm going to go with that. What would you least like to lose? Reputation, health, luck, dreams, love, hope. Least like to lose. I'm going to say love because I don't want to lose love. Why? Why not? Because I want to. Stupid question. We may never know. What? I'm going to say why not. So this is the, um, what I would most like answered and what, um, what is the answer I'd most like to hear. So without a shadow of doubt, not for many years, forever, if you want to, only once, yes you may, you are, no I didn't, if you come with me, only if you agree, I will show you everything, yes, it is possible very soon and never. What's a question I want answered? Um, hmm, that's a hard, that's hard. I don't know what I want answered. Um, okay, um, I want to hear yes, I guess, I don't know. Or without a shadow, I guess without a shadow of doubt, sure. Uh, which is a better motto? It is nobler to be deceived than to be mistrustful. Friends should not demand blind faith. Or it is nobler to be deceived than to be mistrustful. I'm going to say the friends should not demand blind faith. All right. And I got Pukwaji, which is what I had before. So nothing has changed so far. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm gonna do my Hogwarts house last. So I'm like gonna do my Patronus now. I don't know if you have to, that's when you have to answer questions, right? I don't remember, it's been so long. Think of your happiest memory. Shine, glitter, or glow? We're gonna say glow. Blood or bone? I'm gonna say blood. Play, prowl, or pre? Play. Together or alone? Together. Hope, trust, or love? Let's go with love. Drag and release for your propose your patronus. I got a fox terrier. Interesting. Is it gonna tell me like what it why I got that? No. 
so I don't like this quiz because it doesn't like tell you why you got something like the others you kind of know but this one you don't so um and the thing I the what the Patronus I had last time was a fox so I was pretty close <laughs> to the same thing all right the moment of truth my Hogwarts house all right forest or river forest you and two friends need to cross a bridge guarded by a river troll who insists on fighting one of you before he will let you pass. Do you attempt to confuse the troll into letting all three of you pass without fighting? Suggest drawing lots to decide which one of you will fight. Suggest that all three of you should fight without telling the troll. And volunteer to fight. So I would probably attempt to confuse the troll. So that's what I'm going to pick. You could have any power, which would you choose? The power to read minds, the power of invisibility, the power of superhuman strength, to speak to animals, to change the past, or change my appearance at will. I'm gonna say talk to animals because I think that'd be fun. Like, I wanna know what my cat Puck says. Like, what is he saying when he meows at me? Probably, I need food. That's probably what he's saying, but I'd like to know for sure. All right. Uh, once every century, the flutterby bush produces flowers that adapt their scent to attract the unwary. If it lured you, it would smell of a crackling log fire, the sea, fresh parchment, home. I'm going to say fresh parchment. Which of the following do you find most difficult to deal with? Hunger, cold, loneliness, boredom, being ignored. Um, not hunger, not cold, loneliness, boredom, um, I'm not really lonely, maybe boredom, or being ignored, um, I don't like to be ignored, but, bore, I mean, boredom, I don't, I don't know, I'm gonna say being ignored, I don't know. Given the choice, would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you love, glory, wisdom, or power? Of course, love. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? A tabby cat, a Siamese cat, a ginger cat, a black cat, a white cat, a tawny owl, a screech owl, a brown owl, a snowy owl, a barn owl, a common toad, a natterjack toad, a dragon toad, a harlequin toad, or a three-toed tree toad. I'm gonna say tabby cat because that's what my cat is. Black or white? Oh, black. <gasps> oh my god! I got Ravenclaw. I feel, I feel like, I don't know. I don't like that. This is also a different quiz than when I first took it though, because I remember there's a lot more questions, I think, and there's different questions, so... Oh my god, I can't believe I got Ravenclaw. I'm kind of sad I didn't get Hufflepuff again. Like, that's my house. But you know, I took it once before, like, I took, I, every time I take any kind of sorting quiz, it's always Hufflepuff. But I did take it once and it was Slytherin and it was just because I was in a bad mood that day. And I don't know what mood I'm in today, but apparently it was a Ravenclaw mood. Oh my god. I mean, honestly though, that would be my second house. So I guess it's not too crazy because I do really like to learn and knowledge and I do, I would be also be in Ravenclaw, but Hufflepuff is my heart. Like, I mean, hello, Hufflepuff is my house. So even though this says I'm a Ravenclaw, I am Hufflepuff. Also, all this Harry Potter stuff I have is Hufflepuff. So I'm going to stay Hufflepuff. <laughs> but that's, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. Well, uh, thanks for watching this um, redoing of Pottermore. Uh, let me know what house you're in and 
what Patronus or whatever else you want to let me know. Um, definitely your house because I would like to know who everyone is. That would be kind of cool. Um, and if you haven't taken this quiz, I'll go ahead and link Pottermore so you can take it. Hopefully, um, those of you that watch this love Harry Potter. And I would assume you would probably already know, but just in case you don't, you can always try it. Why not? But, um, yeah. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!